Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. That was scary, guys. I'm scared. Hello again, YouTube. Welcome to another mouse pad review. So today we're talking about the Pure Track P51 Mustang. I'd like to thank Osmod Shop for sending me this for review. It's my first time using a Pure Track mouse pad as well as Alpha Cell Base. So let's jump straight into it. So the pad ships flat in this envelope with a P51 Mustang fighter design on it. And in case you didn't know, the P-51 Mustang is actually an American fighter plane used in World War II, which is what it's named after. This is similar to how every single artisan mouse pad is also named after a Japanese World War II plane, so it seems that these mouse pad companies really got something going on here with World War II and planes. I don't really know what's what's the deal with mouse pads and that, but apparently so. Inside the envelope, the pad would actually come stuck onto a plastic cover here. I think this is a really nice addition. It prevents the pad from coming out with any slight unevenness. The item costs 40 US dollars or 70 Australian dollars from our mod shop. It's 490 by 420 by 3.5 thick, which is standard as artisan mouse pads would be as well. So to give you guys a quick summary, this might just be the single best performing medium speed mouse pad on the market. Perhaps even better than the Enagon, which is pretty crazy for me to say. Now, unlike the Enagon, this pad actually has a bit of feedback under the skates, even though it's a smooth pad, and it gives you confidence in your flicks, while simultaneously maintaining almost perfect glide with skin and arm sleeves. The Enagon still glides better, but this is as close to perfection as it gets as well. So to me, it's basically a slightly faster Artisan Zero, but functions better with sleeves. Just a no-brainer for me to recommend this pad and how good it is. I've already messaged PureTrack, hoping they can make me a custom 500x500 500 500 model because I genuinely wouldn't mind maining this pad over the Anacon even. So I'll talk a bit about base. The Alpha Cell base is sticky. Like, man, like I'm actually in disbelief how sticky this is. It's the single most sticky kind of base I've ever used. Like, this shit just sticks on your desk and does not want to budge. Like, it's 10 out of 10. I literally put the pad down, don't even put any pressure and use the pad. Like, just literally drop it down on the table and it's already stuck and you have to peel it off. It's actually insane. Now, as for the padding itself, it's definitely more of a soft than an X soft. I do wish it was a little bit thicker, at least 4 millimeters instead of the 3.5, but it performs excellently and the base is just all around good. This is exceptional. The stitching is immaculate. It is a below the surface stitching. You do not feel this at all. It is perfect. All companies should be doing like this. Texture, this pad is not textured, but when you glide a mouse on it, you can still kind of feel the cloth underneath the skates. And that's a really nice feeling to have. I highly rate this. It is extremely, extremely good. As for arm sleeves, not all untextured cloth pads automatically work well with sleeves. For example, the Artisan Zero does not work well with sleeves due to the same hair catching issue that it has on fabric. I even know some bros who have hairy arms and then they can't use the Artisan Zero because their arm hair is literally caught on the Artisan Zero and they're like, oh man, like I can't use this pad. My arm doesn't move on it. My sleeve doesn't move on it and they just can't use the Artisan Zero. So I guess that's a genetic diff right there. Anyway, the P51 is the opposite of that. It's the most sleeve friendly pad I have used other than the Enagon, and that's saying something. So speed and control, it's a medium speed pad. It would work well for every single game type, every single sensitivity, and there's honestly not much more for me to say in terms of speed and control. So I think the most important part is the comparisons. I keep talking about the Zero, so we'll give a more detailed Zero comparison. This is just an Artisan Zero, but upgraded. That's how I see it. The P51's very, very slightly faster, but the speed difference is rather negligible. If you can use the Zero, you can use the P51 in terms of speed and control. There's just no difference, essentially. However, the P51 has significantly better glide for your skin and sleeve, and you'll never feel as if you are stuck, unlike on the Zero, which it can happen. So in my opinion, the only thing that the Zero has better than the P51 is that the Soft and X Soft variants are four millimeters thick, and I do enjoy the extra padding on the base. The P51 is only 3.5 millimeters thick and doesn't feel as padded, but there's almost no difference for gameplay. The other thing people talk about is the Pulsar ES2. Now, I personally don't have one of these, but from what I've been told, it's supposed to be the same surface and base as the P51. Now, if that was the case, I would still take the P51 over the ES2 because the ES2 is only in three millimeters right now. Uh, when the 4mm version releases, maybe that'll change. I'll review the pad in that case, but as of now, 
just buy the P51. So who should buy this? Everyone. Any player of any game type, of any sensitivity, of anything, just any user. I recommend this to every single possible user out there. I just don't see how you can dislike this pad. It is goaded. Thanks Osmod Shop for sending this out to me. Make sure you guys buy it from Osmod Shop if you are an OC local. Hopefully PureTrack will make that 500 by 500 that I requested. And I'll see you guys in the next video.